to a new home. There she goes, guys. 335 is sold. Crazy. You excited getting your M3 today? I'm excited. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, today is the day. Hopefully, we'll see. <laughs> Congrats, bro. I'm officially an M3. <laughs> yes, sir. Got the title M key. <laughs> I got a job for you. He good. said, I got a job for you. <laughs> it runs good. I, I he said, good morning, I got a job for you. I got a job for you, bro. <laughs> anyway, I got an M3. I'm officially in an M3. It's actually really cool. Alrighty, guys, it is official. I just got myself an E92 M3. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to a new video guys. Today is finally the day that I got myself an M3. So, as you guys can see, there is literally an E92 M3 over here. Yeah guys, it, this is like a dream come true. I've been trying to get an M3 for the past two years, but life things have popped up that are just more important than an M3. Trying to be financially responsible, this time not so much because I finally bought myself an E92 M3 V8. About time. It's about time, I'm about not gonna time. lie. It's about time, bro, finally. <laughs> <laughs> so, so as you guys can see over here, finally got myself a V8 M3, E92 M3. Literally been putting off this purchase for like genuinely two full years. Just finally, just the fact that I have a clean title E92 M3 is just absolutely wild to me. As you guys will also see in this video, I ended up selling my E92 335 to help get this E92 M3. So uh, unfortunately that car will no longer be on the channel. I never intended to sell that E92 335, but uh, I had one of you guys reach out to me saying he was interested in an E92 335. I casually mentioned that mine I possibly would sell it for the right price. I told him the price and he came and bought it. So pretty crazy. It was not expecting to sell it for a very long time. Uh, and it just so happened that the day I sold it, the next day I was able to go buy this E92 M3. So a few things about this thing. This is a 2010 E92 M3. It is a clean title. Uh, it has a little bit high miles, but I got it for such a good deal that I really can't complain. The price I got it for is just absolutely insane. Still, I think it's still pretty insane. I got for 15,000 flat. So it is pretty wild to say that I got a clean title E92 M3 for $15,000. Prices have been dropping quite a bit on them because uh, just a year ago, this would still been at least $20,000. So it has the competition wheels, the 359M wheels. They are painted black. Now I'm not a big fan of black wheels. These are my favorite E92 M3 wheels are these ones. The fact that I have these, I'm very grateful for because the other stock ones all kind of look bad. So these are the best looking ones. It is a space gray metallic E92 M3. I am not the big fan of gray colors but this space gray does look pretty good so as you guys can see over here it does have a little bit of damage which also helped with dropping the price this door looks like it was in some type of hit slash accident I don't know what's going on with it fender looks good so I don't know if they replaced the fender or what they did but luckily these space gray E92 doors are very common you can get them on E92 335s 328 space gray is a very common color so that is not too big of a deal no crazy damage on the front end either it's a little bit dark let's see if we can brighten it so there's no crazy damage on the front end either which is good it does have a small little crack on the tab uh half of it is still on there the other half is kind of falling it's gonna be kind of hard to see right now now it is a dct and to be honest i actually preferred getting a dct let me go ahead and explain why i wanted to get a dct so my e92 335 was a manual i really loved it but uh, i have to daily drive in the city and it takes about 45 minutes to daily drive to where i need to get to driving in city traffic with a manual hitting every single stoplight is just not fun so Honestly, I would get tired of daily driving that E92, which I did daily drive, by the way. I daily drove my E92 335, but I do plan on kind of daily driving this, which is kind of ridiculous to say because it's a V8 and it just doesn't make sense with these gas prices. But I wanted an M3 and I love the sound of these V8s, so it is worth it to me. But I did want to get a DCT 
one so that I wouldn't have to drive in traffic also so that my wife could drive it because my wife couldn't drive my E92 335 so finally finally have another automatic BMW which is a DCT which is fast so it's better than most automatic transmissions so I'm glad about that very very happy with it by the way so love how it shifts quick downshifts sound immaculate speaking of downshifts sounding immaculate the car does have an exhaust now I haven't been able to figure out what exhaust it is but it looks kind of janky so let me go ahead and show you guys so going coming to the back over here the exhaust tips are kind of like in really rough shape i don't know what the previous owner did uh but they are like low-key painted black but then like also chrome i don't know if you guys can see that it's just kind of weird so on the exhaust it looks like it has a becker performance logo i honestly don't know the value of that to be honest i've heard of the name becker once and it was for the amplifier, Harman Becker. I don't, I've never heard of Becker Performance, so let me know if that's a good exhaust system, guys. It's pretty quiet, it sounds better than stock, but it's nothing crazy. So yeah, back to the interior. It is a black interior. It has this wood trim right here. I had a wood trim on my 335, and I actually like the color, but in this one, I really don't like this color at all. So I do have another trim that I'm gonna be throwing on in this video, so. I am going to be having some mods on this video, so. Nothing crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I'm gonna do. So some more issues that the car has right here. If you guys see the screen, it has like, it's like whited out on the sides. So we gotta replace that screen. The blower motor actually went out and the guy who sold it to me dropped the price on that blower motor and Nor over here has his blower motor. And uh, if you guys see this, it is cracking. It's cracking and it's also like, it's like a weird. It makes like a weird noise. So in the car, it was making this really weird whining noise. So I couldn't even use the uh, the it's heater. Like stiff too. Yeah. So Erlon went ahead and replaced it for me. So I really appreciate him for doing it. Literally you did it in like four minutes. Literally, it was so quick with it. That was gonna take me an hour. We literally minimum. pulled this out of our low mileage car over there, and Erlon was like. Bet you I can do it in five minutes. I'm like, bruh, this is like a $600 job. I'm pretty sure he just did it in like four minutes. <laughs> he did it in four minutes. So it's so, not that difficult to do, guys. Out with the old. <laughs> also, the cup holder does not work. So the screen doesn't work. As you guys can see, the sides of the screen are not working. And it looks like there's a little bit of a crack. You're not going to be able to pick it up on... Eh, you might be able to see it. But uh, it has a crack on there, so we're going to replace that. Uh, the cup holder does not work, so we're replacing that right now. And we're going to be swapping out this trim. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what trim we're swapping in. And then on the dash, it has a brake light. And then it also has a TPMS light. And then, guys, over here, we got the cup holder. We got a cup holder that actually works. And then we got this trim. It's a little bit cleaner condition than the one that's in there. And then here is the CIC screen that I'm going to be throwing in. And then I got a story for you guys with this thing. So if you guys know, these M3 license plate covers have been discontinued for like four years. And about four years ago, I went into a BMW, saw that this M3 license plate cover was on sale. And I was like, one day I'm gonna get an M3. And this was four years ago. You remember that day that we went to go get this little M3 license plate cover? Oh my God. You had was... your E92 M3. E yeah, my first ever first M3. Ever. Like first major rebuild that put me on the map. And basically went down to Walmart, I mean, not Walmart, BMW, BMW. they had a clearance section. I was like, bro, we got I think we caught like four we of them, We got bro. a few of them, because they were like 20 bucks, and they were originally like 50 bucks. I think they were actually 10 bucks. They were originally like, they were like 40 or 50. Maybe one of those. It was things. so cheap. They that were, were like, cheap. we're just going to grab like four. We weren't even rich at the time. We <laughs> not as rich now, but we were so broke. We were so broke. That $10 <laughs> was still a lot, but we were like, that's a good deal. Yeah, it was a good deal. And then so. Jonathan was like, you know what? I'm going to cop this for one day when I get my M3. And oh my God, what I'm today telling you guys, it's been long today. awaited. It has been long it awaited. It has been long awaited, bro. <laughs> He's been trying to convince me for the past oh two years. Oh my God. He was, he was literally going to say, I'm going to keep my 335. I thanked one of you guys. One of your guys, like, I think one of your followers, right? I think so. Reached out to Jonathan, who was like, "Bro, can I buy your 335?" Jonathan's like, "Oh man, someone reach out to me. I want to buy my. I'm gonna try to sell my 335." I'm like, "Jonathan, please, please, bro. <laughs> Somebody reach out to you. It's a <laughs> sign, bro." Sign Plus, at the same sign. time that that guy reached out to Jonathan, this one was put up for sale for an insanely good him, deal. I told him the price. It's crazy. So it was like the timing, the timing. Yeah. So I'm just happy it all worked out. Yeah. And now we're gonna be throwing on this trim that I've been waiting four freaking years to install, and I already swapped out the other one. I already put the save a BMW, but. Because of the nostalgia, and I told myself when I get an M3, I'm gonna install this. I'm gonna go ahead and install this. So I'm gonna install it right, right now. I've been waiting literally four years since 2019. <laughs> Summer of 2019, four and a half years, by the way. Just to put on this dang license plate. Just to put oh, on this license. Oh, are you license. taking off my license plate? I'm sorry, I put it on already, but I, I told myself that when I get an M3, I'm doing it. Fair enough, bro. This is the only car that I'll accept. <laughs> Fair enough. This is, this is manifestation right here. 
This is manifestation. Oh, look how bad that Look at the is. cover. <laughs> I've had this thing for four years. Let me look at the cover, bro. 20 million boxes, bro. Look at this was made in 5 13 15, bro. 2015? 2015. Look at that. Unreal, bro. That's crazy. This thing has been waiting patiently for me, and I am installing it. So, let me go ahead and install this bad boy. If this isn't manifestation, I don't know what is. I told myself one day I'm gonna get it, and I got it. And I got it for a good deal. Correct timing, too. It's crazy. Look at this thing. This, this is really actually kind of emotional for me, bro, because uh, this took me ages to do. I'm gonna have to get custom plates for this thing, too. Oh, yeah, you should. I think I'm gonna get custom plates, bro. Yeah. Been waiting forever for this, guys. Literally four years. Finally got the M3 badge on. I'm official. All right, guys, finally, finally, finally got this M3 a license plate cover on for my M3, and I need to replace this because this is like off-centered. But yeah, anyway, it's on there. Ah, oh, manifestation, bro. Actually, there's a lot going on right now. It's like this is a different color. This is a I know, different color. It's this too is a much. different color. I'm gonna get all be matching. I'm gonna get an original one, and I'm gonna get an original one. So, so. are you gonna get them blacked out, or are you gonna get the chrome? I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just don't like how it's faded. The I color's know. faded, so is it that looks. Is faded? That's just like a different style. You think it's faded? Uh, I don't know. Is it faded, guys? I can't tell. It looks kind of faded, but then again, it like I don't know. <laughs> it, it looks like eBay special. I don't. Could be just that. <laughs> and then I'm. Don't worry. I'm. I'm getting rid of the heritage, because I like the OEM plus. Nor says he wants these, so we're gonna. Trade. I kind of actually like these. I, I feel like with my custom build, my E91 M3, these might actually look pretty good. These are actually great quality. I'm not gonna lie. They, they do actually look, look pretty really good. good. They look. I mean, they're really nice carbon too. Like I'm trying to get as much carbon on my car as possible. So yeah. Anyway, I so you, we'll, we'll trade that here soon. So <laughs> here you know. But anyway, you guys, we got some other goodies that we're gonna be throwing on. So let me go ahead and start. Uh, let me actually show you guys the trim. We got the aluminum brushed aluminum E92 M3 trim. Look at that brushed aluminum. All right, let's go ahead and install it. All right, guys. So here is the trim all cleaned up. So it is a brushed aluminum. E92 M3. This is M3 specific, just so you guys are aware. So I am putting an M3 trim in there. It is missing the uh, center console piece, which is different on the M3s, if you guys didn't know. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start throwing this in here, uh, getting that wood trim, that ugly wood trim out, and then putting in this uh, nice aluminum trim. Eventually, I would like to get the leather carbon trim, but uh, those are a little bit pricey, and this is uh, something that we already had. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in right now. There's actually like a nice contrast now between the door and the trim. Whereas with the wood trim, it kind of looks like it blends in. But with this, this looks nice, pops out a little bit better. So let's go ahead and do all the rest of them. All right, guys, so we got the full aluminum trim in now. And look at that contrast. Honestly, it looks so, so much better than the wood trim. Next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is replace the cup holder and this trim piece. Uh, it's hard to see in the sliding, but it is messed up. So uh, yeah, let me just press this real quick and it doesn't pop out. So let me go ahead and replace that. Out with the old and in with the new, guys. Working cup holders, guys. This one's a little bit faster, but hey. If it works, it works. I'm not gonna sit here and complain. All right, guys, so pretty much those are the few little mods I wanted to do to the car. Honestly, just so glad I have an M3 finally. So let me go ahead and show you guys the engine bay. This is just, this is this whole thing is wild to me. I finally got myself an M3, first M3. Genuinely the first M3 I've ever had. So not even bought one to like flip or anything, but genuinely just the first one I've ever gotten. So if you guys look over here, it is an M3, just absolutely insane. Can't wait to actually get this thing properly running, properly maintained. Uh, it does run and drive, uh, by the way. When I say properly maintained, let me go ahead and jump into what I'm talking about. So guys, what I mean by that is that because of the price I got it for, it has not had rod bearings done. So that is kind of a common thing that you wanna get done on these E92 M3s. There's no record of it ever being done, which is why I think people were kind of scared of getting this one because this one was sitting for a while. So far, I haven't had any issues with it. I just genuinely think people were scared by the fact that it had no history of rod bearings. That doesn't mean that it hasn't been done. Regardless, we are gonna be doing the rod bearings in a video coming up here soon. I'm not gonna be ripping it without having the rod bearings been done. So get some rod bearings. Uh, in one of the next videos, I don't know when, whenever we have time to do it, we're gonna go ahead and get those things done. I'm thinking about going with some BE bearings and some ARP 
uh, bolts. I think that's what they're called, ARP bolts. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and go with those most likely. Another common thing is throttle actuators. So I'm not gonna replace the throttle actuators until they actually go bad, because it's like, what's the point? But rod brings you wanna do before they go bad. You don't want there to be any issues with rod brings. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Go look up some common issues with the E9X M3 platform and you guys will see what I'm talking about. We are gonna get that done here really soon. I don't really even wanna drive the car without the rod rings done, but I did just get it. Don't worry, I let it warm up all the way before I start driving it because uh, really they only go bad. They only like actually start to do rod knock. If you really pull on it or anything, if all the temperatures are good, you're pretty much good to go but I'm still just gonna do it for peace of mind. So that is coming up here. I'm gonna do a full video on that. Getting this thing properly maintained so we can actually enjoy it, rip it, have a good time, do an exhaust. And probably honestly gonna throw on some LCA tail lights. Um, not probably, we definitely are gonna be throwing on some LCA tail lights here in one of the next few videos. But yeah guys, finally, 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 I got myself an M3. Very proud of myself for having finally accomplished this. I know it's just an E92 M3, but end of the day, it is an M3 and uh, Worked very hard for this, made a lot of important decisions before getting an M3. I didn't just jump into one, I did a lot of research and made sure I was ready to get it when I got it. Yeah guys, here is the interior also by the way. So we've got the nice aluminum trim all over the place, looking way, way better. Now this is a proper M car, so. Let me go ahead, turn on the car, warm it up, make sure it's all good. And I'll give a few little light revs. I don't wanna go anything crazy. Like I genuinely have not been pushing this thing at all. I'm really scared of the rod bearing, so we're gonna get that done here very, very soon. Anyway, let me get a few little revs for you. Don't worry guys, I let the car warm up for like 20, 25 minutes before I revved it. That is how serious I am taking this. I wanna make sure this thing lasts me a very, very long time. With that being said though guys, this is just really crazy that I actually have an M3 now. I know it's not a crazy, crazy hype video, but for me this is just a special moment because I have been waiting a very long time and making very difficult decisions. Instead of getting an M3, doing more important things. Uh, with my money. This is just honestly quite a blessing. Couldn't have done it without you guys supporting the channel. If you guys are ready for some nice M3 content, we got some cool videos coming here soon. And make sure to subscribe down below. Make sure to give the video a like. We are going to be posting a lot more here soon, so stay tuned guys. Make sure to check out my Instagram. I post daily on there, so if you guys want to keep up to date with what I'm doing. And now, with the M3, uh, make sure to give it a follow. Uh, it is Weeks Whips. I'll have thrown it up right over here for you guys. Make sure to go give me a follow on there. And with all that being said, guys, remember to stay safe, stay happy, and stay in that project car. I will catch you guys later.